All right, Doc, let me tell you how a typical day goes in my life. I wake up at the crack of dawn to walk my three huge dogs, then I race into the office where I'm bombarded by our most important client who happens to be a sociopath. When I happen to get out of the office, I either work out, train the dogs, or inspire some romance in my relationship. But that usually fizzles out because my girlfriend has some dependency issues and might be bipolar. <laughs> at that point, I just take the dogs out for another walk, hope that tomorrow is better, and go to bed. I want you to write out a list. And on the list, there are three things that will make you happy. Word on the street is that Contact is looking for a new home. And I need your help in reeling them in. Once we do, it's off to Switzerland. Hey, what are you doing? I read that it stops all the constant jumping. Okay, no. This is painful. I'm having hot flashes. I'm done for the day. <laughs> Look how cute it is. I bet it has a huge backyard. Why does it always have to be about the dogs? Come on. I don't need a massage right now. There's too many dogs in this house. I need a change, Joel. What if we gave up the dogs? Now, St. Bernard, that old cow is your childhood. How could you give up the rot? I think that's absolutely horrible. Why are you giving them up? He's got more dogs than he can handle. Have you thought of place one of them in a new home? I'd be abandoning him. It seems dirty. Joel, you've never given up even anything. Yeah? What about Dad? What do you think is missing in your life? You know, I know a guy who would love this, Roddy. I can talk to him. Hello. It's coming right now. Joel, are you okay? I made a decision today. If you can get a good home for this dog, where there's a genuine love, that dog's gonna have a great life. Good.